Hello again, this is Ty Warner with KISSOFT North America. We're a division of Gleason these days. Um, I want to talk quickly about comparing results in our report tab right here. So we can generate reports, we can look at reports, we can compare, we can do lots of different things. So first thing we're going to do is we need to understand that uh, when we compare two calculation reports, we can do this in KISSOFT. And there's a text ed an external text editor that allows you to do this. Uh, there's a couple things that we have to set up in the software to do it. It doesn't take long. First thing is we're going to go to Extras, and we're going to go to Settings, and we want to toggle this Use External Editor. So if we don't use the external editor, when we run a report, the report is generated in this window. Okay? And then if you want to get back to your calculations, you got to back to Input. When you turn the external editor on, go to settings, use external editor, okay, and then you run a report. Now it calculates, you have a whole window that you can move around, do whatever you want with it, okay? All right. The next thing, I have this original report now that I've run. I'm going to make a couple changes. And I want to be able to compare a couple of different reports. In order to do this, I go to Report, I go to Settings, and I report, and I change this over to Compare, this report mode, okay? Just like this. This is the uh, standard default overwrite. We can change this to Compare, all right? So now... I'm going to run, uh, let's see, let's change this to for minimum sliding velocity. Okay. Remember, I've already got this one report here. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, calculate this. Uh, some things changed here. For sure, this profile shift changed. And I'm going to run the report. Okay. So you can see this is highlighted here. Here's the report I just changed. If I if I scroll down and I look for my uh, uh, where's my profile shift? My profile shift. Um, I'll see that it's changed. I changed down here somewhere. And I got a lot of information. Profile shift right there. I saw it. Working X right here. Okay, so I know that this number has changed, but it's probably changed a few other things too, all right? What I want to do is I want to set my window to split, and I have this previous report and this report I just ran, all right? So I change this to split, and now I have both the first report, and you can see the timestamp at 24 seconds, and the other timestamp at 16 seconds. So this is the newest one report on this side, and this is the uh, report on the other. If I scroll through this, they scroll at the same. See, I've, I've turned this simultaneous scrolling on. Now, if I want to look and see the exact actual, the actual differences in the report, I toggle this compare. It should show up here, but this is the toggle for comparing the reports right here. Okay. Now, anything that's changed between the two will highlight in yellow. My inner diameter changed slightly. Uh, the, the times, obviously the time changed. What else changed in here? Oh, my profile shift, all these different uh, parameters right here changed as well. Okay. And I can see that right there between the two. I can open this up a little bit. I can um, move this over, that over, whichever. And I'm still scrolling at the same um, between the two. Okay. This is an easy way to go through here and find things that have changed and updated. Maybe you're interested in tooth thickness, that sort of thing, uh, etc. Now, if you want to use, um, if you want to just see the differences between the two reports and a third report, you can go to um, Extras here in the Kissoft Edit, and you can do Comparing Report, and it'll generate a third report right here. And this has all the differences right here from the original to the last one. Okay? Now in this case, you can see uh, things are parametrically linked and lots of these things changed. So this has been 
Um, a real simple, quick way to compare reports it can be actually pretty, pretty powerful if you're looking at some discrete changes and you don't want to, you know, be bouncing between your reports back and forth. Hopefully, this has been um, helpful to you. I think it should be. We'll um, we'll continue doing these uh, examples and these videos as long as we have questions that come in, and I can can easily and quickly show you how these things can be beneficial and speed your, your design process up. Thanks for watching.